Hey everyone, we just wanted to hop on here and show you guys how easy it is to make some of our favorite recipes with just some healthier ingredients that the kids will love. And so what we decided to do was take one of our school meal prep recipes. It's the taco recipe that we know. I know my husband, you love tacos. He's all about the tacos. And what we're gonna do is teach you how to do that in a really, <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Hey, the camera has like 10 pounds. It looks like I ate three cameras. <laughs> You're hiding your tacos under there. Um, so this recipe serves four people, okay? It's prep time's about 10 minutes and cook time's about 15 minutes. The recipe I'm gonna give you guys, and for those of you in our 30 day health group, you'll have access to that, okay? So first thing I do is um, I have the recipe pulled up here. Typically Damon cooks by himself. He doesn't like having assistance. <laughs> so this is gonna be a, a new experience for us, so bear with us. Um, but I'm going to do some of the prep stuff and he's going to cook the actual meat and I'll be posting these ingredients for you guys as well. But the biggest swap outs we're going to be doing is we want to go gluten free. So instead of using regular taco shells, the Siete brand, I like to use these chips. They're delicious. You can get them at Sam's, Walmart, um, or in the fridge section, they'll have the shells. So you, uh, not the shell, but the burrito type and they're Siete. So they're gluten free and they have healthier ingredients in them that won't cause inflammation. The other trade out is the Daya cheddar cheese. It's a non-dairy cheese. It's delicious. I love it. I get this at Target or Walmart, so you can swap that out. My husband's gonna go over, this is Damon, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm Linnea, for those who don't know. He's gonna go over what he did for the homemade taco seasoning because when we were looking at the taco seasoning and chili seasoning packets, it was it's insane. Full of crap full of all kinds of artificial chemicals and preservatives and flavoring and stuff that just really is bad for your body, your gut health and overall inflammation. This is a way healthier version and it is so easy. So I'm gonna let him tell you what's all in our homemade taco season. All right, so I made sure and put it all out into one plate, just like the chefs do on TV. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I get to be Vanna. <laughs> so basically, so one tablespoon of chili powder, and then half a tablespoon or, or half a tea or one teaspoon of cumin, and then um, what do we do? Uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika. So yeah, going this way. Paprika. Then we went to a half a teaspoon of oregano half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I already said, that's, that's onion powder, sorry. And then we went to a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of, of crushed red pepper. And that's it. Okay, so when we, we already have the, um pan getting hot over here. We started that a little bit ahead. We've got our seasoning prepped. So how are you gonna start doing the meat and so I the seasoning? The, I would add some olive oil, I guess, if you need measurements. I just do about, my measurement is about that much. <laughs> which is like a- Couple tablespoons? Teaspoon, two yeah, teaspoons. Yeah, that's like two tablespoons, I think. Get that, make sure it's- One to two tablespoons, stick. yeah. And then we're just gonna add the meat, because it's nice and hot. As you can sell from the smoker. So we're doing one pound. That's a little bit more than a pound. It's um from Kirk, it's the Kirkland brand organic meat from uh, Costco. But you really want to get organic um, and grass-fed type beef when you're cooking because it doesn't have all the antibiotics and other stuff in it. So that's why we're using that meat. It came in a three pack. It's a little over one pound. We're just going to use that just to simplify things, okay? So right now he's just breaking it up. Kind of want to show them in the camera. Well, I'm sure they've cooked ground beef before. Well, just show them real quick. Yeah, just breaking it up. It's nice like to thaw it out so it breaks up easy. Yeah, it was. We did thaw it out first. That's way easier than trying to cook with frozen meat. It looks possible. And so while he's browning that, um, just let us know when you get to the seasoning part. So all he's doing is just breaking it up and browning it. While he's doing that, I have the lettuce and tomato for our toppings over here. 
I like to use a salad spinner. So I always put my salad or lettuce in the spinner and I run water all over it to rinse it off. And then what I did is I put it on these paper towels and I just patted it dry, okay? Um, I've always learned that you take the outer layers of the lettuce head off and you and then really rinse well, okay? So I'm just going to, while he's browning that, um, is just chop this up. Did you have something to add, hon? No. So I'm just chopping out. Disclaimer, remember guys, I'm science and medical. I'm not the cook. My husband's the cook. My brother's a culinary institute chef. He went to the Culinary Institute of America. And so did my sister-in-law. I'm the least capable of cooking in this family, but guess what? I can do this, you guys can do this, trust me. Um, so all I'm doing is just chopping this up for toppings for when we're done, to put like kind of like a nacho over the chips with the taco meat. So I'm just doing that, and then I'm gonna chop up the tomato. How's that looking? Can you just pick it up and tilt it towards the camera? So you can see it's just getting brown. We're trying to get rid of all the pink. And then while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the tomatoes. I mean, you guys can see how fast this goes, right? I mean, the meat's almost browned. I'm working on the veggies. You could always prep this ahead. So if you're doing this by yourself and you just wanna get it done faster because you're coming home from work, you can always have the lettuce and tomatoes ready to go ahead of time. So all you have to do is brown the meat. You can even get your taco seasonings out, prep those, put them in a little baggie or a little uh, container and be ready to just pour that in. So you didn't even have to measure that if you're running home from work and school and all the things. All right, so I cut that up. I, I had already rinsed and patted dry the tomatoes. So I've got those. I mean, you could make them smaller probably if we're gonna put them on chips. But you get the idea. How's that meat coming along? It is cooking. Okay. And then this is all 30 day compliant, guys. So we're going gluten free, dairy free, okay? We're using the organic meat. We've got our veggies, and instead of using the processed package taco seasoning, we're making our own, which was super easy. We had all the ingredients already, um, but like I said, I'll be posting the recipe so that you guys will have that um, if you wanna make this while we're doing it or even after and just have it as a staple in your family. Oh, that looks good. Actually, I don't much to drain off this. I'm gonna skip draining it. Yeah, there's not much to drain because it's a lean meat and it's um, the organic, yeah. healthier meat. It's not all the fatty meat. So you can tell the quality of meat just by when we were cooking it. There's hardly any grease or drainage yeah. on it. If you're making hamburgers, you definitely want an 80 20, but since this is, we don't need that because we're having a season. I like your apron. Could you show them your apron? Sure, they saw. Hot stuff coming through. So I've got more than enough grease stains. On my clothing. Yeah, isn't that the truth? I'm a messy cook. Now, one bad thing about being colorblind is I like to serve raw food to everybody. So it's good to have some of the normal color vision mm -hmm. that can tell me. Is that ready? Yeah, it's all brown. All right. So, so I'm going to show them this real quick. So I want you guys to see, see all the meat is brown, no pink. Cooked all the way through. So what, what are you going to do next? I'm just going to take all my seasonings that I pre-measured and dump them in. Okay. And then I add a uh, two-thirds cup of water and add that to it as well. And then we're just going to stir it up. So some of that water will probably kick off just from the heat, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, it'll thicken up too. Okay. So now we're just mixing all the ingredients together with the brown uh, meat. You want the meat cooked thoroughly before we add the seasoning to it. Now since we're not using a taco packet, Taco packets will have like flour that will thicken up your sauce. We're not adding that to it. So you need to bring this to a little bit of a boil for a while. That'll kind of reduce the, the moisture, but put the flavor into the meat. Mm -hmm. Well, I bet this is really good as leftovers because usually when you do stuff like this, the seasoning soaks in even more for leftovers. I bet this is a good reheat. I just want that to come back to 
Want a little bit? Sit for a little bit. So it's Simmer. boiling and simmering. You see all the bubbles on it. It smells so good, guys. It really doesn't take that long at all. You know, this is uh, not even 30 minutes. Yeah, if you have everything ready to go up. Yeah, it said like 15, and, 15 minute cook time. And especially if you have an extra set of hands or if you prep the veggies and everything. And like the chips are easy because we can just dump those on a plate. I have a plate here. So if I were going to make this to eat right now, what I would do is I put this. So you can either put the chips on the side. You can even put this on a bed of brown rice. So if you wanted to do brown rice, you could do that instead. Um, I love these Siete gluten-free chips. Um, they're delicious and they have minimal ingredients in them, guys, and they don't flare me up. They're compliant with our 30-day. But what you can do is put these down and make them like a nacho layer or put them on the side and scoop and dip, okay? But we'll make it like a nacho layer. So I'll put the chips on the plate like that. And then what we'll do is when the meat's ready, we'll put some of that on top and then some cheese. I always like to put the cheese on top of the meat um, because it melts a little bit with the hot meat. And then some lettuce and tomatoes and voila. It's, look at that guys, it's already good to go. So what we're gonna do is, let's show them what it looks like in the pan just so they can see it. Looks like regular taco seasoning. Tilt it a little bit, yeah. So that's what it looks like when it's ready. So we're gonna take a little bit of meat and I'm just gonna put it over here. If you decided to do like those burritos or the shells or anything, you could do that. But, and for kids, I mean, this is a healthier option for kids too. If you wanted to do regular taco shells for them, but for the 30 day compliance, this is the way you do it. And then you can take a little bit of cheese. I will admit that cheese when she first brought it home, I wouldn't even look at it in the fridge. I thought it was just, I don't know what it was, but I actually tried it. It's not bad. Yeah, I it's like, I actually prefer this cheese over regular cheese now, especially when we make our pizzas with this mozzarella, the Daya mozzarella cheese, it's delicious. So I put a little cheese on there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce on top. It's gonna look like a little taco salad, really. And then put a few tomatoes on top. Okay. And are we adding like a bunch of sour cream and guacamole? You can do guacamole, you can do salsa, no sour cream. If you wanted to, you could do that. But look guys, I mean, super easy. All right, are we gonna try it together? I'm gonna try one. Did you get it all? Nope. Mmm, mm -hmm. So good guys, and so easy, okay? I'll go ahead and stop that. Thanks for joining us. And I want to see pictures of how your guys' turns, your guys um, tacos turn out and also what your family thought of it. All right, guys, we'll be back again with another recipe here soon.